Bonsoir, mon chéri. Je suis Jess. Enchantée. This is a video about Jou Chore. Jou Chore. Jou Chore. Look, I took French for about 10 minutes in high school because there was a really cute boy in that class. So to this day, I've never really mastered French pronunciation. So by all means, do forgive me for the embarrassment. Most of the time when you think of the Moulin Rouge, you consider artists like Henri to Toulouse Lautrec. Toulouse Lautrec. Fun side note, Toulouse Lautrec had a drinking problem. He used to carry a cane around with him that was hollowed out and he filled it with alcohol. But actually, Toulouse Lautrec wasn't the only artist who created advertisements for the Moulin Rouge. In fact, there's a wonderful artist who's not as well known and his name is Jean Charest. Oftentimes we'll see posters of the era and we'll assume to ourselves that they were created by Toulouse Lautrec when in fact they were created by his slight predecessor, Jules Chore. Jules was considered the father of women's liberation. He was also considered the grandfather of modern advertisements. The reason why is because when he created his artworks and his advertisements, he created them in such a simplistic way. Big bold text. Beautiful women. His women were so lighthearted and fun and beautiful that they even garnered their own name. Charettes. Prior to his arrival on the art scene, women were either prostitutes or puritans. Thanks to Jules Charest, women were depicted as neither. Simply fun-loving, beautiful, frivolous women who could enjoy life to the fullest. And they showed we women what it was like just to be wild and liberated. And wild and liberated meant at that time, drinking a bit of vino, wearing a low cut shirt. The charrettes would smoke cigarettes. Charrettes who smoke cigarettes are the best kind of coquettes. <laughs> Jules Charest was a French painter and lithographer who became a master of belle epic poster art. He has been called the father of the modern poster. The belle epic lasted from 1871 to the outbreak of World War I in 1914, occurring during the era of the French Third Republic, which began in 1870. It was a period characterized by optimism, regional peace, economic prosperity, and an apex of colonial empires technological, scientific, and cultural innovations. In the climate of the period, especially in Paris, the arts flourished. In contrast to World War I, this period was considered a golden age. Charest did work with coloration and perspective that caused a color revolution and likely inspired the Fauve painters, whose works were first publicly exhibited in 1933, the year after Jules Charest died. Because of his innovations, there was fun and fantasy, glimpses of laughter, whirling of dancers decorating the kiosks of Paris, dazzling the senses and creating a movement of gaiety that had not existed before. Jules Charest was born in Paris in 1836 to a poor but creative family of artisans, and he had very limited education. At the age of 13, he began a three-year apprenticeship with a lithographer, and then his interest in painting led him to take an art course at the École Nationale des Dessines. Like most other fledgling artists, Charest studied the techniques of various artists past and present by visiting Paris museums. His work became more popular in his large posters displaying modestly free-spirited females found a larger audience. Pundits began calling him the father of women's liberation. 
It was freeing for women of Paris to see women depicted in such a joyful and liberating way, and it heralded a noticeably more open atmosphere in Paris where women were able to engage in taboo activities. Jules Chiret was awarded the Legion of Honor by the French government in 1890 for his outstanding contributions to the graphic arts. Although his paintings earned him a certain respect, it was his work creating advertising posters, taken on just to pay his bills, but eventually his dedication for which he is remembered today. In 1933, he was honored with a posthumous exhibition of his work at the prestigious Salon of Autumn in Paris. Over the years, Charest's posters became much sought after by collectors from all around the world. Now my glass of wine is almost finished. As always, thank you so much for indulging me. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Ooh. Remember, if you enjoyed, by all means, like and subscribe. I never recorded a video while drinking wine before. Oh my God, I don't make a habit of this.